Hi my friends and welcome to my very first ever YouTube video. I am very excited to show you guys my take on DIYs and of course there will be mistakes along the way even in this video but at least I'm trying and the reason I'm doing this is because I never finish my projects. There's so many projects around the house that just never get finished. So it's kind of my way of showing you guys DIYs and maybe you can get inspired and also some a little bit of accountability on my end to actually finish these projects. But anyways, in today's video, we're actually going to do some DIYs projects that are behind me. Um, usually I opt for a more spooky vibe for Halloween, but I got really, really inspired by this year's Michaels line. They had some like blush and black and a little bit of white. Um, they were more vintage, but I kind of took it in a little bit more of a glam Halloween decor. They did have some glam pieces, but most of them were a little bit vintage. Two pieces that I picked up are actually behind me. This one is a blush typewriter and it's got some black and gold details. And then it actually says, love you to death on the paper on it. And I just was obsessed with this. This is actually the first piece that I saw and was like, oh, this is what I wanna do for Halloween this year. And then the next piece that I picked up was actually this boat that's got the man and the wife or man and dating girl. Um, and it's, this also is in blush and like a vintage vibe with the creams and black. I went for more of a white for the rest of them, but I loved these. And then I, so they had those. And then I also saw a wreath there that I was very inspired by. And that's kind of why I DIY'd my, my own is because theirs was $45. And I just wasn't really wanting to spend that. And I also just, I'm obsessed with DIYing things. So I figured that's an easy one that I can DIY myself. The typewriter and the skeletons, not so much. So again, in today's video, we're gonna go through these ones. I did some glam pumpkins, like you can see behind me, there's a few of them. And then I also did some glam schools with some gems and some white and black and a little bit of pink and pearl. And I just, I really love this. It's not my typical Halloween, but I hope you guys also enjoy it. Anyways, less, less rambling. Let's get in. I bought these hollow pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I just removed the stem as you saw previously. And it's actually really easy because the stem itself is just a toothpick. So you can just plop it right out and it's very easy to remove. I then painted two of the four pumpkins that I bought, but actually in this video, you're only going to see three. I didn't love the last one, so it's not in this video, but I just ended up painting two of these white with the white fluid paint that I had on hand. And I didn't love how opaque it was. So I ended up spray painting both of those as well. I do not recommend spray painting these guys because they are foam, they end up getting just eaten away like this big hole right here. The foam just gets eaten away by whatever is in the spray paint. So what I did with this one that had a huge hole in it, which I already was planning on doing, is I covered this one with some cream lace that I got from Walmart. I used my glue gun to glue the lace to the top of the pumpkin this was actually very easy as well because the lace has so many holes in it that the glue would stick to multiple layers. And I just would add a little bit of glue. I probably added way more glue than I needed, but I also was pretty slow with this process. So the glue would dry after a little bit. So I just glue a little bit and then just start stretching the fabric over top and holding it down so that it would dry a little bit. And just keep doing that until the whole pumpkin is covered in this beautiful lace. And then you can leave this pumpkin as is like this. I added a stem, a wood stem from Dollar Tree as well. They come in a pack of, I think about 15 or 20. I can't remember right off the top of my head. 
but I just glued this stem to the top of it, which you're gonna see here in a minute. I have to rehold for a minute. Okay, so here's the stem. I just glued that as well to the top. And like I said previously, you can leave this just as is, but I, because of that hole, I wanted to glam it up a little bit more. So I started adding some gems and pearls that I found at Michael's. I am obsessed with these. I don't know why, but I just love them and I love the tediousness of it, of like gluing individual gems on. <laughs> you can skip this step, but I just adore it. So I always just add the little gems one by one and I added actually three sections of this pearls and gems to this white pumpkin with the lace to give it a more glam look. And then here's how this one turned out. I'm probably even going to add this one to my fall decor, just with the cream and the wood. I think it would match my fall decor perfect. Okay, for the next pumpkin, it's actually a sequence fabric one. I removed the stem again, and then just started using my X-Acto knife. I got this one from Michaels, but they do have them at Dollar Tree if you do want to spend a little less on an X-Acto knife. I ended up pushing the foam that was left over into the hollow pumpkin and then you can just see me here just pushing the leftover fabric or the fabric that is on the top into that hole so that it becomes just this beautiful design of a pumpkin and this was pretty easy to do. You literally just have to stuff the fabric into the pumpkin itself. And of course, I ended up having way too much fabric. So I ended up just cutting this right here. And then I also noticed as I was stuffing that it was going to be too thick for the hole that I originally made. So soon you'll see me actually cut a bigger hole with the same X-Acto knife out of the pumpkin. Here it is. I'm just cutting that bigger hole so that the fabric can fit flush with the pumpkin. And here again, I'm just stuffing the, the pumpkin with the fabric. And yes, there are going to be a little bit more creases just because the fabric that I'm using is a sequins fabric and it doesn't become as flush as the lace one did, but it was, I just loved this. So just keep doing your thing with whatever fabric that you have. Maybe you don't need to make as big of a hole, but I did notice right here that there is a little bit too much fabric. I'm trying to decide if I can just stuff it all in or if I needed to cut it. Eventually you'll see me cut it just because I didn't love the excess fabric that was there. I didn't want the pumpkin to have just this bulge on the one side. So right here, I'm just taking out that fabric and cutting down a little bit of a size that I think will fit into the pumpkin and look better. I then just again stuffed it and you can either decide to leave the remaining fabric on the top for a stem but I actually opted for that wood stem that you can find at Dollar Tree again and here you can just see a couple ways that it can be displayed and for our last pumpkin of the day I actually used that white one that the second white one that I painted and this one didn't seem to get too warped up with the spray paint 
So I opted for a kind of black and white vibe with these letters that I found at Dollar Tree. They come in a sheet of 340, 370 um, stickers. They come with the two sheets, but I have so many on hand because I always pick them up when I'm at Dollar Tree. They just work for so many different projects. So I've got multiple of them. And I just coated this pumpkin in all sorts of different Halloween wording, like creepy and spooky and Halloween and scary and witch and wizard and all that kind of stuff. And I just coated those with letters and then I ended up using two coats of Mod Podge. You can probably opt out for the Mod Podge, but I wanted these to stick around for years to come. So I added two coats of Mod Podge when I was done adding the letters. I then just used the same stem that came with these pumpkins and painted it black and added it to the top. And now onto the skulls. So the first ones that we're gonna show you are the black skulls. I picked up a lot of skulls from Dollar Tree. They come in just this cream and black. And so I painted the two, I painted two of them in black and then added gems to all of them. And here is a time lapse of those gems that I'm adding. I'm sorry I didn't record the first part of this. It was very bad quality. I did record it, but it was very bad quality, so you're not gonna see it. But I just added this big gem to the eye, and I added gems to most of the eyes just because I loved the look of like having a gem on the eye and then just beating throughout. So the first one was done and now this one is just the black on black and it's kind of like this iridescent black. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I also picked up these ones from Michael, Michael's and I just found so many cute gems there and I also just had so many on hand. If you don't have any on hand, they do have them at Dollar Tree if you want a cheaper option, but just keep glue gluing them with your hot glue gun and placing them on and then adding them in wherever you decide on these skulls after you've painted them Then I just did the same thing with the white skulls. I painted them with spray paint and then added the gems as I saw fit or how I liked them. You can always do your own design. I ended up doing a lot more of the one eye, which was the right eye in my perspective, but you can also opt out for a right and a left on either one and for the big gem. Okay, now let's start with the wreath. I picked up roses and picks from both Walmart and Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree didn't have a huge selection, at least my Dollar Tree didn't, for stems and picks. So I was really excited when I found this one at Walmart. 
they had a few other pieces like this orange and green and a little bit of purple that purple spider on it that I wasn't going to use but maybe for future projects I will and I just ended up removing those and then I also took off this floral like tape this black floral tape from the bottom of it so that I could use these stems and picks for my wreath I picked up the wreath from Dollar Tree they always have them on hand and it's amazing because they're wreaths are always so awesome and I just used the leaves and the pick with the balls on it the like tree kind of vibe and I just kind of used the wire that was already on it to wrap around the floral wreath design and I just used both of these in a cohesive look I picked up two so they kind of worked to do like two on one side and two on the other and I know that you can't really see what I'm doing here with wrapping these around so I did switch to a white background here in a second but I just like kind of fluffed them out and did my own thing with these and then added those other two that come in the other pick that I found I'm now going to use the Dollar Tree pick that I found with the spooky tree vibe or like the branches and I started using it with scissors which you can see here and I just started placing them where I saw fit. I then found that the scissors don't work the best for cutting wires obviously so I then started using the wire cutters but eventually I just cut them all and then place them with the glue gun or I also used the wire that was already on them and just wrapped them around as you can see here I just wrapped it around the wire wreath and then this one I wrapped around the top of the wreath just to give it a little bit more sturdiness to it this just worked really good for me but you can do either the glue or the wrapping around whichever your project needs it either one works great so i just kept doing that for everything that i needed and where i needed those placed or where i wanted them placed And this is where I took the Dollar Tree roses. They come with two roses and two roses with eyes on them. I end up taking off the eyes on all of them. But they come with, so basically they come with four roses and these picks with the spiders on them. I do also take off the spiders just because I didn't want to use them for this one. I have another wreath in mind that I figured I'll use those spiders for. Right here you'll see that I glued the flowers itself to the pick so that I could use the pick itself to wrap around because it is a wire one so I could wrap it around the wreath itself. I ended up deciding not to do this later on in the project just because it was a lot more work to try and wrap it around than it would be to just hot glue the flowers themselves to the wreath which ended up being really great. So I just recommend doing whichever one you prefer.
is actually where the blush comes in. I picked up two of these flippy blush flowers from Michaels. And then I also picked up these white skulls from Dollar Tree. And here I'm just trying to decide if I like the white with it or if I wanted to spray paint them black. I ended up spray painting them black because I thought they looked a little better and more cohesive. I then picked up these Dollar Tree pumpkins. They also come on picks. There's three of them. And I just started removing the picks. And then I go ahead and once those are removed, I spray painted it white. After that coat of paint, I went back upstairs and painted them with a silver. I also put, after I painted them in silver, I put some Mod Podge on the top of them and co covered them with some silver glitter that I had. And then I also just put some like silver and clear beads that I had on top. The video actually didn't come through, so you don't have a clip of that. But once they were finished, I then just took them and decided where I wanted to add the silver pumpkins and the black skulls to the wreath. After much time of trying to decide where to place them, I ended up just gluing everything. And then I also glued these black uh, leftover flowers that I had into the empty spaces. I then just took those picks from earlier with the spiders on them and removed the spiders and added those to the wreath. And then here is the completed wreath. I actually added two more pink flowers that I found from Dollar Tree. This is totally optional, but I just added those ones and they're actually not even glued. I just stuck them in. I hope you guys enjoyed my take on Halloween decor. And I actually do have a few more videos in mind. One is going to be coming out this week. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button to follow along on this journey of mine. 
And if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Bye guys. Have a great day. Yeah.